on IG family what's going on what's going on you guys what's going on just to let you know I'm on live in two places I'm on live on Instagram and I'm on live on TikTok so I'm trying to answer as many questions as possible we need the sauce someone's like <laughs> someone's like we need the sauce I got you I Someone asks, how tall are you? I'm 5'11". Well, 5'10 and a half, but I'm going to call it 5'11". <laughs> Someone said, how often do you fully pick out your hair? I don't fully pick out my hair, like, at, pretty much at all. Like, I never really fully pick out my hair. I always have my hair, like, styled to be curly or something like that. Like, this right now is just blown out. Like, my hair is completely blown out. That's why it's super stretched. But I don't ever really pick out my hair, like, often at all. Not really at all. Well, yo, before we get started, I'm gonna do a little bit of a Q and A for those guys. For those guys that have like a lot of curly hair questions and stuff like that, I. A lot of you guys have been asking me in my DMs and in the comments and stuff like that. So definitely I'm going to give you guys a chance to get some of your guys' questions in. And then we're going to get started. Someone said, what's your haircut called? It's called a drop fade. So it goes, it starts to drop behind your ear. That's what's called a drop fade. Someone on TikTok asked, what's the best cut for an afro? It, well, the best cut... When it comes to what cut would work best for you, it literally just depends. So it depends on what you want because like what is your hair goals? Like what are you trying to do? Like what kind of styling are you trying to do from there? Like type four hair is super versatile. Like you can do so many things with it. So if you're only styling it for your afro, then you might just be limited. But you can always do like curly hair. You can do protective hairstyles, braids, whatever, finger curls and all that stuff. So it really does depend. Thanks for the follow, TJ. I appreciate that. Guys that are on TikTok, because my TikTok family, they're always there for me. <laughs> they're always there for me. I want to get started. Elijah, what up? Um, I want to get started when we hit, I'm going to make it a smaller goal this time. Last time I said when we hit 10K, then I'm going to get started. But I'll definitely get started into the full tutorial and everything like that when we hit 5K likes on TikTok. Um, somebody said, TJ asked for a two strand twist. So what's the best haircut for a two strand twist? I would recommend for a two strand twist. I would recommend again. I, I love the drop fade because the drop fade is just so more, it's more versatile. Like if you end up, if you're like me, you get bored of haircuts sometimes. So you might want to switch it up. So I would recommend a drop fade all day, every day. Cause it's just the best look. It looks really clean for uh, fades and stuff like that. All right. TikTok, they're running up the lights now. They're running up the lights. When we get 5k, I'm going to get started. And guys, you guys are in for a treat today. The very the the video that I dropped, a lot of people were saying that's a lot of products. I agree. It is a lot of products. I didn't go easy on the products I used because I used the products that the company was sending me. Today I'm literally only doing two products. So I'm going to show you the exact same method. I'm not going to change anything. The only thing I'm changing is the products and I'm changing it to two products. So it's going to be super affordable, super easy to do. Someone said you Jamaican. Yes, I am Jamaican. My background is Jamaican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, someone asked, not a hair question, but somebody said, how do you form your jawline? Like how to make the guess the jawline to look sharper? Um, what you're seeing, that illusion that you're seeing, my jawline is not that sharp. What you're seeing is just detailing. It's uh, easy, easy detailing stuff. So like one, you'll notice that the, it looks darker down here. That gives you more definition on your jawline. What I'm doing is literally I leave more hair here. So I'll fade my, I'll fade the stubble. I'll let, I'll let this be a little bit lighter. And then I'll let this be darker. Whenever this is darker, it gives you the illusion that somebody has a sharper jawline. And then also there's other things you can do too. Like the line that's there, you can keep the line adjacent with the line that's down on your neck as well. Cause that's going to make your face look more defined. Waka flaka forever. <laughs> All right, cash flow. Okay. We're already at two point, almost basically 2.5. K likes on TikTok. So again, when we hit 5K, I'm going to get started. Someone 
Some, Steven asked, what are the two products that we're using today? When we get started, I'm gonna re like reveal the products, I'm gonna reveal the, the whole process, everything is going to be, I'm gonna put everything on the table so you can see everything when we get started. So for right now, while we're waiting for the likes to hit 5K, we're almost already at 3K likes on, on TikTok. When we hit 5K, I am going to bring in the products and bring everything out. Someone said, how long did it take to grow your hair? My, I've been growing my hair for over a year now. So like, damn, how long have I been growing my hair now? Like, um, I don't know, like a while. I, pfft, like it probably is getting closer to two years for sure. But there is some things that like would limit how much my hair is growing. So don't usually use me as a benchmark. Your hair should be longer than mine at a year. Cause one, I do a lot of curly hairstyles. That's a lot of manipulation, which can cause a lot of breakage. So a lot of you guys that want curly hair, just know that you are uh, more going to be more prone to breakage. And if there's more breakage, your hair is not going to retain its length that it's that it is right. Also, I don't do a lot of protective styles as much as I should or can because uh, I'm always styling my hair to be curly for the videos or when I'm working with companies and stuff like that. So that limits how much protective styles I can do in a month. That's also gonna determine how long my hair is as well. So again, that's why I'm not a great benchmark, but it is over a year to answer the question. Someone said, bro got a boneless afro. <laughs> it's cause it's blowing out. That's why it looks like it's like, it's just like shaking in the wind, like <laughs> because it has, because it's blown out. All right, we're already at 4.6K likes. All right, we're literally about to hit 5K. Once we hit 5K again, I'm gonna get started. Uh, someone said, do you have any idea what I can do with my short? Okay, this is the last question I'm going to answer. Then we're going to get started because we just hit 5K likes. Um, somebody asked, do you have any idea what I can do with my short mixed curls? So if you're mixed, that doesn't really determine what your curls are going to look like. You could be darker skin and you can have really loose curls. So it really doesn't uh, matter about your skin tone, but what it does matter about is okay, more the length of your hair. Cause then that can, um, you can do more manip manipulation with your hair and stuff like that. Like my curls didn't really start to drop like when, until gravity starts to hit it and it can, they can hang a little bit more. So once your hair gets longer, you can do way more with your hair, but when it's shorter, it is a little bit more challenging on how and the techniques that you use to style your hair. All right, I did make a promise. I said once we hit 5K likes, we're gonna get started. We are almost at like 6K. So guys, do me a huge favor. Keep running up the likes. I appreciate it so much. And I'm just gonna keep talking. I'm not ignoring the questions. It's just because I'm trying to focus on the process and then I'll stop in between every so often to throw in some tidbits and also as well as to answer some questions as well. All right, like I said, product wise, today what we're using is a co-wash. Don't worry, IG, I'm gonna show you guys too. I'm gonna bring it closer. Um, it's called Give Me It All from Twist. It ha it's a four-in-one, it's a conditioner, a uh, co-wash, a leave-in, and a styling cream. The reason why I really, really like this one is because of the consistency. Because when you use conditioner, especially when you have conditioner in your hair, and that really brings out your curls, especially again, type four hair. That, not even just type four, type three, type four, conditioner is gonna bring out your curls. But the one thing about conditioner, you gotta rinse it out. You can't leave it in, like there, it can cause damage. There are some people who will argue with you and tell you that you can. Yes, you can leave it in your hair. Um, someone said, can I get this live recorded? I will, I'll do you a solid, I'll, I'll, I'll repost it. Um, so if you have to step out for at any time. But yeah, so what happens is when you use regular conditioner in your hair, it will, it will bring out the curls, but you have to wash it out. And when you wash out that conditioner, you sometimes you lose a little bit of that definition because you're trying to run your fingers through it. That's why I really like this one. Like, I don't get paid if you buy it or you don't buy it. I don't really care. But, but for me, this is the conditioner as a go-to because once you see it go through my hair and it brings out the curls, you'll see that I'm able to leave that in, right? Because that's why, again, it works as more than one. It works as a conditioner and a leave-in as well to style your hair. That's why I really love this one. So that's product number one that we're going in. Also, make note, like I already washed my hair for the day. I already washed my hair two days ago. I washed it, conditioned it, then I deep conditioned it as well. That's why I'm not like gonna show you guys the whole step from washing. Like if you need a tutorial on how to wash your hair properly, let me know, I'll do it. Whatever the guys want, I will do it. But yeah, I've already washed my hair. Now I'm just basically styling it. So you would do this while you're in the shower. You would wash your hair, you would condition your hair, deep condition your hair, and then you would style it, right? Um, the second product that we're going in with is a gel. So this is um, at Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Gel. 
absolutely love this product. Absolutely, like it's one of my go-to gels, but I'm gonna let you guys decide today. I have two gels. I'm gonna show you. So this one is more expensive. This one's a custom made gel. It's from Pros. This is the gel that I used in that very specific, in that video that I was talking about, the secret to go from Afro to curls. This one's your more expensive one. And then this one is more affordable. Like anybody can afford this one. It's like, I should say anybody. But this one is like 14, I think. I think it's like 14. It might've went up just a little bit in price, inflation, you know. But you guys decide. I want you guys to decide what gel we're going in today. I have the more expensive one from Pros is custom made with like natural ingredients. Like this thing has an expiry date on it because it has natural ingredients, all that kind of stuff. Or we can use Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Flaxseed Gel. You guys decide. So you let me know right now in the comments. Are we going in with Aunt Jackie's? You can just say AJ or you can say Pros. P-R-O-S-E. So you let me know and then I will determine which one we're going to go in with. But that's, the, that's all we're going to use. Someone said the more expensive one. Someone said Aunt Jackie's. All right, so that's one and one. I need one more. At least break the tie here. The cheapest one, Aunt Jackie's. I got AJ, Aunt Jackie's. All right, so more people are saying Aunt Jackie, Aunt Jackie, Aunt Jackie. All right, we're going with Aunt Jackie. Someone says cheap, cheapest. <laughs> Don't worry, y'all like me. I'm the cheap one, yeah. Don't worry. So we're going with Aunt Jackie's. All right, with that being said, I just, and now you guys are just lighting up AJ, AJ, AJ in the comments on, on TikTok. Um... All right, so with that being said, let's get started. I gotta move the cameras around a little bit. So just bear with me for like one second. All right, TikTok fam, I will not be able to see your comments, but I can see on the side, I can see the likes. So run up the likes if you can see me, just to give me a second. Run up the likes, uh, the likes if you can see me, because I want to make sure that everybody can see what I'm doing, right? And then it's IG as well. Like, let me know if you guys can see and everything that you guys know. It's going on. Someone said, damn, thanks, bro. I'm looking to a bonnet. Yeah, make sure you get a bonnet. Protect your hair always. Again, we're going to go in with first twist. We're going to go in with twist. All right, you guys are running up the likes. I can see that you guys can see, though. So um, I'm going to go in with twist first on my hair, right? I'm going to wet it type four hair, especially low porosity like myself. You need to make sure you are absolutely soaking your hair. So I'm going to soak my hair, like really, really soak it. Like it's not going to be, I have to make sure, like I'll run my hands through to make sure that it's wet, wet. So all right, so give me a second. Let me wet my hair and then again, then we're going to go in with the, the leave-in. Again, TikTok fam, if you can see me properly, just run up the lights because I can see the lights going. And if I see the lights going, then I'll make sure that you guys can see, right? All right, I don't know. I can see the I can see the lights going, so I know you guys can see me. Type four hair, like my hair is still not even wet. Like we've been running it underneath the water for a minute, it's still not even wet. When I touch it, I can still feel parts of it are dry and that's not what you want. You wanna make sure your hair is completely soaked, like completely wet, right? Even this right now, again, it's still not, it's still not fully wet. Like I can feel parts of my hair that feel dry. It's still not even wet, so I gotta still wet it. Thank you guys for running up the likes. I appreciate it. I appreciate the new follows. I see you guys. I really appreciate all the likes you guys, all the love. <laughs> Y'all support is insane. Like, <laughs> Thank you. 
All right. It is pretty wet now. Like it still doesn't even feel like soaking, soaking wet, but it is pretty wet. I'm just trying to make sure that both of you guys can see it. And you can see already like, yo, when you wet your hair, like this is just water. My hair, my hair was so dry a minute ago. Like when you guys were seeing it, it looks moisture because I'm doing the right things. Like I deep conditioned my hair before we got started the day, a couple of days ago. So, but like, even with that being said, like you need to, like you see that the water already brings out some of the curls, right? And that's why I say to you guys, water. So when you even think you added enough water, add more water. I got my spray bottle on the side. So even while we're doing this, I'm gonna add more and more continual water into my hair, right? So then now that it's like pretty wet, I'm gonna add in the, uh, the conditioner. TikTok, just run up the likes again because I can't see the comments, but run up the likes again if you can see. And then I'm gonna show you guys how much conditioner I'm using because that's super important. I got like freaking, uh, I got the water in my hand. Anyways, so, okay. This, I would actually still even add more conditioner into my hair because my rule of thumb is use as much conditioner as you have hair. So some of the ladies and some of the guys that have really, really long hair, like longer than mine, like it's past shoulder length, they're gonna be like, yo bro, that's so much conditioner that I'm using for my hair because I have a lot of hair. Well, yeah, because if I leave any part of my hair not touched by the conditioner, it's not going to curl. It's not going to curl the same. You're going to have parts of your hair that are going to be frizzy and you're going to say, this doesn't work. That's all people who, uh, most people who have 4C hair, they're going to say stuff like, yo, this doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work because they're not using the right amount of product and they're not taking the time to be patient with the process because especially type four hair, you need to be patient, add more water. And when it comes to conditioner, add more conditioner. Again, like this is not even enough for my hair. So if this is not enough for mine, if you have hair that's longer than mine, you're using more conditioner than this. But that's again, that's why we're using more affordable products today too. Like the twist uh, four in one, that's super affordable. I believe it's like 15 bucks again, maybe around the same price as the um, uh, Aunt Jackie's, but yeah. So I work with that amount and I'm, again, I'm probably adding more. I'm like, like 95% sure I'm adding more, more uh, product in here. Yeah, right now it just feels like the, the product and again, low porosity hair. So uh, don't tell me, yo, this doesn't work. <laughs> this doesn't work for 4C hair because my hair is not 4C. It's more 4B, like just the curl pattern itself. But don't tell me it doesn't work for you because listen, right now it just feels like product is just passing on top of my hair. It doesn't even feel like it's going inside. Like, and again, I know that's how it is, especially with 4C hair. You really got to work it through, like splitting the hair and actually making sure it goes on top, uh, goes through the hair. So this is also super, super important. TikTok, give me one second. I'm going to show you guys just because my head, they can see me better on IG. When you, when you add conditioning, you see how I just like, oh, basically I just lathered it on top. It's all sitting on top. All the hair that's in the bottom doesn't have any conditioner. So if that doesn't have any conditioner, all of this is going to curl, but this is this on the inside, that's not gonna curl. Like it's gonna be frizzy as heck. So again, TikTok, like the conditioner that's sitting on top, this is going to curl, but what's sitting on inside right here, uh, run up the likes if you can see it, so I know you guys can see it. But all that's sitting right here is not going to curl if I don't get conditioner on it. So you got to actually rake your fingers through your hair and actually sometimes move the hair in order to get the product through and into the actual, I see you running up the legs. All right, cool. So then you can actually get the product into the actual parts of your hair that you're trying to get, right? Not just missing the back or just doing the top. And again, then starting to message me and say, yo, Carlton, it's not working. It is working. <laughs> it does work. It's just, it's not working because you're not taking the time to actually run it through and make it run its course, right? So just give me a second. I'm, work, I'm working uh, the product in as much as possible. Uh, TikTok. There you go. So there's literally these tutorials. They're not cute. Like <laughs> there's water dripping down my face in my eye. Like, but I do it for you guys. Yo. I do it for the love. <laughs> I do it for you guys to teach you guys, to show you guys. Like it's not, it's not, it's not cute. Do this in the shower, yo. <laughs> Do this in the shower. So definitely, again, you're adding, I'm, I just added more conditioner, like way more conditioner again, because I'm trying to get those in-between parts of the hair. And even the sides, I bet you any money, yeah, look, all of that don't have, that doesn't have conditioner. 
doesn't have conditioner. It's black, right? The conditioner is white. So I can see already, like, I don't have any conditioner in there. But you're going to see a huge, huge difference. Like, you guys that have been on from the start, you already see a difference because, like, you can see the curl pattern starting to come out a bit. IG. You can start to see the curl pattern starting to come out a bit. And it's literally just from the conditioner because of that, that consistency, the, the thickness of it. And it's, yeah, it's just, yeah, this one's just, like, really, really good for my hair. So I'm just working it through. Just give me a minute. Another easy way, especially again, because if you have tighter texture hair like myself, then what you want to do is work in more in sections. So I'll push this part of my hair back. I'm just grabbing the front part. Again, push this part of my hair back, grab this front section, and then rake your fingers through that smaller section. Work in smaller sections, because when you're trying to work the whole head, you're trying to work all the hair at once, you're, again, you're just gonna see curls all right here. All of this will have curls, or again, all this is gonna have curls, and you're gonna say, yo, why the heck is it not working? Because work in smaller sections, especially for our type of hair, if you got black, if you got like type four hair. I'm literally saturating my whole hair in the conditioner. And again, like I said, I can, you can use this as a, um, as a leave-in. Sorry, IG, I, I don't think you guys can see properly that, I think you can see. Um, but yeah, you can use this as a leave-in. Um, but when, when I'm going to, when I'm getting to it, you can already see the difference. Like you see how this is more weighed down now. This part of my hair is more weighed down then like this section, this section is not weighed down. It's more puffy. If it's puffy like that, probably no product in the middle. So let me work that through. But yeah, you can um, definitely, um, I don't even remember what I was gonna say. I'm not even gonna pretend like I know what I was gonna say. I don't remember, lost my train of thought. <laughs> let me turn you guys a little bit like this. All right, there we go. It's super, super messy. This is why you would do this in the shower. So you would first go in your shampoo and then you can just immediately go to this step. Elijah is in the comments on TikTok. He's, he's answering a lot of you guys' question. He was on the first live that I did. I trust this guy's knowledge. This guy, he knows, he knows. <laughs> so if Elijah's answering your questions in the comments, Trust that guy. <laughs> he's, his name, it might even, I think it has a check mark or something beside it because he's a moderator in the comments. So, what he's saying, he's telling you the truth. All right, let me try to work the back. Okay, so now I'm more happy with, I know the back, I'm not going to lie to you, the back is not like fully, fully done and dealt with. Um, I'm not going to go like crazy, crazy on the back on purpose because one for time I'm trying to respect y'all's time and two people don't stare at the back of my head <laughs> not that I know of at least <laughs> so I'm not like gonna go super in on the back but I'm gonna make sure it's detangled this is just finger detangling when you're in the shower, especially because this is your conditioner and your co-wash and your styling and whatever, 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 all that stuff and above. When you're doing this, first make sure that you, again, because my hair was already stretched. Most of your hair is not going to be stretched going into the shower. Make sure you go in with your wide tooth comb. Go in with your wide tooth comb, detangle your hair. Because if you do not detangle your hair, one, your hair is going to come out looking like it's not that good. And it was literally one step that you skip, which is detangling your hair. Make sure you detangle your hair. To actually properly detangle your hair, you should go in with something with smaller teeth after. So the first thing, because my hands are so slippery from the product. What? So one, I finger detangled my hair with my hands. So that's already, you know, that's going to get out, mo not all of the knots, but it might get out some knots. Then the wide tooth comb is going to get out 
okay, a decent amount of knots. This would get out even more knots. Something like a Denman or like a regular comb, not a, not a rat, like the tail comb, but like an actual, something that has smaller, finer teeth. This can still pass through type four hair if it's detangled properly. If it's not detangled properly, you're gonna feel like it's not gonna pass through and it's not gonna, go, it's not gonna do anything. So for example, I'm gonna show you like, I finger detangled, you saw me running my fingers through my hair, running through my hair. Now I'm gonna go in with the wide tooth comb. Then I would go in with this guy, right? Normally, that's not gonna pass through like black hair, like being quite frank and honest. It's not gonna pass through if your hair is dry, needs moisture, and it doesn't have some type of product or, or something in it to help it. This is only passing through my hair like that because I have that conditioner in my hair. You can have any conditioner in your hair, but it will pass through easier if you have conditioner and it's gonna allow you to not tangle up your hair. So again, my hair's already detangled properly because I already blew it out and everything. So I'm not gonna go in at every single section and show you guys. I did that in advance on purpose. So yeah, it's looking like I have like a mushroom top because I'm just splitting the hair down the middle and just parting it to the sides. Just again, just keep working it and keep working it. Like again, that's why I said it takes patience and it takes time. I can't just take the product and just go like this and be like, all right guys, okay, cool. And then shake, shake, shake and then done. Nah, it takes time. I realize those videos that I make they make it look real easy and it makes it look like I'm not trying or there's no effort behind it at all. There is effort and it takes time, right? Like me styling my hair on a regular basis, on a week to week basis, it will take me like two hours, right? So I don't expect like if my hair is this, only this length, like it's not even like super, super long. And if some of y'all have longer hair, it will take you a long, it'll take you a long time. It's gonna take you a while. But again, it's not effortless. like. Just because somebody has 4B hair versus someone who has 4C hair doesn't mean that it's effortless and it doesn't mean that um, it's not, it's uh, it's easy. So there you go, I kinda, I pretty much have it pretty detangled. And as you can see, I'm gonna show TikTok first and I'm gonna show you guys on IG. But as you can see, like the curls, the curls are there. The curls are already there. It's very easy to define the curl from here, right? Again, I'm gonna show you guys. Like it's already there. Like you can literally see every single curl there. And this is where a lot of people get stuck. Um, sorry. This is where a lot of people get stuck is that they see the curls right here or when they're in the shower and then they don't know what's the next step to do. So I'm gonna show you that right now in the sink again. I'm gonna rinse out my hair, but I'm not rinsing out all of it. Boy, it's a lot of product. But, but I'm not gonna rinse out all of it. I'm just gonna rinse out a majority of it. Like quite a bit and the reason for that is because i don't want product buildup and i don't want you guys to have product buildup throughout the week by leaving a ton of product in your hair yes this can be used as a leave-in this the twist that we're using today twist um the uh, four in one it can be used as a leave-in but the problem is if you use these products and you leave them all in your head for the week yes your curls are going to last you an entire week it might even last you two weeks but by the week and a, about a week and a half or a weekend your hair is going to be mad itchy because it's going to like there's going to be product buildup and all this stuff in there right so what you call it now let's like i said let's um rinse some of this out you want to set tick tock for those of you that are on TikTok. I just go down. Oh, yeah. And go. All right, tick tock. So like I said, I'm just gonna rinse out some of the product. I'm not gonna rinse out all of the product. I'm gonna rinse out some. Cause I want it in my hair or when I shake it. at myself watching this water just like rip down my face like crazy i should have brought two towels not one towel okay 
What? I, what, I just, I saw someone's comment on, on Instagram. I didn't really see it. It went by too fast for me. It says something, I feel, I feel your hairstyle or something like that. All right. Just making sure both of y'all can see me. Okay, cool. Okay, you see what I, on purpose, I left it dripping. Like my hair's still soaking because I just like kind of just added more water to it. And to be honest, I think I'm going to add even more. Like, yeah, it's dripping, but I still want to add even more pro more uh, water, not product, more water to it. And then that's why I have my spray bottle, on, my spray bottle on hand. That's why I pre-record everything. You hear everything just dropping in the background. <laughs> because I'm a plexi guy. <laughs> So, so everything is like dropping in the background, but that's why in the videos everything looks so clean up clean. But yo, nah, it's not like that. It's not like that in real life. So if you were in the shower and you just like kind of dipped your head underneath the, the shower head and then your head is looking like this, great. Um, for me, because I'm not in the shower, I'm gonna use my spray bottle. I'm gonna add some more, like add more water, more water. Y'all think I'm playing when I say water, water, water? Because you can already see the curls like just sitting there. Now, this is key. Y'all said the cheaper gel. Y'all said AJ. I got you, AJ. Now that the hair's wet, like I wet it again, now here's where I'm gonna add in the styling gel. Don't add in your styling gel after you've rinsed out your hair and you kind of damped it off or whatever. You can, but I'm showing you a different technique. Like the hair's still wet, like really wet. It's literally dripping down onto me and I'm taking out the gel now. And now is where I'm gonna add in the gel into my hair. This much gel, again, if you're trying to be super cheap, that's why we're using the cheaper gel today. This much gel is not enough. I need that spray bottle. <laughs> click, click the link in my bio. Uh, click the link in my bio, go to my Amazon storefront. That's where that spray bottle is. It's a continuous spray bottle. I have like two different ones linked in there, but yeah, that spray bottle is life. You can't, I don't know how you do this without that spray bottle. You can't use those cheap little ditzy ones for like, uh, from the dollar to your dollar ram or whatever, like depending on where you live in the world. Um, not the dollar store ones. All right, so now that I've added some of the gel to my hands, I'm gonna rake that through this, the curl pattern that you already see. Cause if I take the gel and I go like this and like, you know, sometimes like you would just run your hands through your hair wildly, like it's gonna mess up that curl pattern. We stretch the curls, it's called elongating the curls. We stretch them all down to the sides. So that's the same way we're gonna add in the gel. We're gonna stretch the curls down the sides. And you see immediately, and I'm gonna show you guys in a second, immediately do you see the difference of just stretching it down? I'm keeping the curl pattern in there. So the same thing, raking the curl, raking the gel through, and you see how the gel is just hugging the curls and it's already keeping the curl shape. So that's half of your job already done. So then instead of you trying to like rekindle, like re <laughs> recreate the curl, you don't have to. All, all we're doing is raking the product through. So when we rake it through again, you see all the waves, you see all the little curl, whatever your curl pattern looks like, you're gonna see it now. At this point in time, this is where you would see your curl pattern, right? And that's not from product, that's not, that's not from nothing. Your, my curl pattern, that's my curl pattern. Like I can't, you can change it. You can use chemicals to change it. Uh, products can enhance the curl pattern, but that is your curl pattern, period. Like, you know what I mean? And what am I adding again? More water. Because water, 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 water. Even as I'm standing here talking to you guys, like I'm just gonna continue to add water in this process. Oh, Victor, you're out here? I gotta answer Victor's question. <laughs> Victor, I see you in the DMs, man. This guy's the most patient person in the world waiting for me. What if I don't want to make my curls longer? How do I apply? Oh, okay, cool. I got you. I got you, Victor. What, the question you're asking is actually a good question. If you don't want to make them longer, if you don't want to make them like extended like how I'm doing, I'm trying to give my curls as much stretch as possible because the shrinkage is real right now. But if you want to make your curls look and appear shorter, um, for whatever reason, that's the style that you want to go for. I, I can show you. It's it's called like we twist. We you would twist your hair. You'd add a little bit more manipulation to it because if you add that manipulation to the curl, it's gonna spring up and it's gonna tighten up the curl. If you stretch it like I'm doing, most of the guys on the account here, I know they want their curls in their hair to look longer, appear longer as as long as possible because of the shrinkage. But what you're asking for, Victor, is a little bit different. I'll do it to like one section. If I forget and if you don't see me do it, drop it in the comment again and I'll look out for your 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 comment. But yeah, so I'm gonna get, again continue to do this throughout the curls on my head. 
And if somebody's thinking, yo, that seems like a lot of product. It is because without without enough product in your head, you're like, and I, I'm gonna rinse some. I'm gonna rinse some of it out. To be honest with you, I'm going to rinse like take the water and just let most a, a little bit rinse right back out. But um, because of the conditioner, that white that we're seeing, I want to get rid of the white as much as possible. But the white will dissipate when we dry the hair. Um, what's that? Okay, so what you call it? What was I saying? Um, just like oh yeah, so just like what we did with the conditioner, what I'm raking through right now is sitting right here. Again, if I pick up the hair, all of this has barely any curl pattern. It's not defined, it's not as defined as what's sitting on top because we rake the gel through what's on top. So you gotta make sure even when you're in the shower, like you'll take your hand, split your hair, especially for you guys that have a little bit longer hair or thicker hair. If you have a tighter, uh, tighter uh, curl pattern, I'm gonna take more gel Apply it to my hand and boom like you see those curls like because all i'm doing is raking the freaking product through right and oh that's what i was going to say to you guys hey i am using a lot of product because this is going to last me all week so any of the videos <laughs> any of the time you're going to see me on my stories talking or whatever you'll be like yep i was on that live when this guy styled his hair i'll tell you i'll be like yeah i'm taking it i'm washing it out now or whatever whatever but this will last me like a week a week and a half like and the reason why I usually say a week is because I like to wash my hair every week. I don't usually like to go uh, more than a week, right? But yeah, so you see, I raked it through. I picked up the hair, so I did the side. I did the bottom half. I did the top half. I did the front over here, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side as well, right? I kind of didn't really focus on the back. I didn't really do too 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 much to the back, because again, time. I'm just watching the time. One for you guys, one for me. Because my son, <laughs> my son comes home <laughs> and I'm doing my hair. It's a wrap. We're going to <laughs> we're gonna have to end the live. And you guys will be like, yo, who is that? Who's trying to take the camera and run with it? This guy will literally take the camera and say, hey, guys, welcome to my YouTube. That's what he always says. <laughs> welcome to my YouTube. I'm like, yo, bro, this is not even YouTube, man. But yeah, so we're going to make sure to do the top. I'm already really liking the way that the curls are sitting and the way that the curls look. Like... Bro, when I go to shake this, when I shake my hair, it will look insanely curly. So again, the same thing. Split it. Let the let what's underneath drop down and rake some product through. Right? I'm focusing on the hair. I'm not applying the gel to my scalp. Again, that's just gonna quickest way to an itchy head. Like, I've never started a <laughs> Started a video and said, here's the quickest way to an itchy head because that that is what that's gonna lead to real fast. If you are applying all that product to your scalp and letting it rest on your scalp, you're gonna be like, yo, my head is itchy because it's just because all that product is sitting there. I'm focusing on the lengths. What they call the lengths is just the actual hair itself, not the scalp, the actual hair itself, right? The lengths and the ends, the ends being down here, right? This is where I want a lot of the, the, the product and the moisture for two reasons that's the oldest part of your hair and when it has the most amount of moisture you're also going to um not as, end up with as much tangles in your hair as well thank you guys for running up the likes even on ig i see the likes running up yo thank you guys you guys are like 13k now on, on tiktok as well i really appreciate that but yeah i'm just gonna work it through make sure it's all worked through Do you end up with a lot of hair on your hands when you run it through that way? Okay, so someone asked, do you end up with a lot of hair on your hands when you do that, when you do it like that? I'm gonna show TikTok in a second too. Can't really see it, but there's like some hair there, some hair there. That's a great question. A lot of guys, <laughs> a lot of guys are always concerned about that. A little bit of hair there, a little bit of hair there. A lot of guys are concerned about that because when they see all this hair in that at the end of the shower or whatever, they're like, yo, damn, am I losing? <laughs> am I losing all my hair? Like, what's going on? It is normal, normal to lose 50 to 100, 100 strands of hair a day. A day, not a week, not a month, not a year, a day. So if you're losing that many strands, imagine now when you put your hair in a protective style. 
So when you put your hair in a protective style and you take out that protective style and you see wads of hair coming out, that's because the, all that sh those loose strands, all the strands that were coming out, the, the, hair, the healthy hair that's shedding, it's fine. Shedding is completely normal. So that is all gonna come out. So if I wait a week to wash my hair and I do this, then you're gonna see a whole bunch of strands. Victor, to answer your question, the reason why you're not seeing, I'm not trying to front and act like, oh, I don't have shedding. I have a lot of shedding. Um, I actually did a video. You're gonna see it within a week or a week and a half. I actually did a video showing how much shedding I had the other day. It was like a decent amount. Like my palm of my hand was like, like it had quite a bit of hair in it. But the reason, the reason why um, you will have more shedding, especially if you wait a week, because imagine 50 strands, let's say 50 to 100. So the smallest amount, 50 strands are shedding a day. That means 50 strands are gonna be in there from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all the way up to if you wash your hair on Sunday, then bro, you're gonna have you know, that much hair in your head, potentially, potentially, right? Because everyone's hair is different. Everybody's hair operates different. So yeah, it's totally normal to have some hair in your head. Great question, Victor. Water, we're gonna add more water. How am I doing for time? We started at two o'clock, it's 2.43. And I'm not even lying to you guys, I'm literally almost done. And there was times I stopped and took my hands off my head to explain stuff or whatever. So if you're doing this in the shower, you can almost do this in 35 to 40 minutes. This didn't take two hours. I scheduled like a two hour live for you guys because we'll do a Q&A when I'm done. So that'll answer a lot of questions as well. But um, yeah. Okay, you see how as I'm spritzing more water into my hair, I'm not really removing the product right now. And actually I was gonna wet my hair to like kind of remove some of the product, but I'm like, I like the way it's looking now. So when I spray more water into my hair, I'm running, I'm gonna run my fingers through a little bit more. Why? Because that gel that was stuck at the top or didn't make it all the way to the bottom, I'm pushing it through, right? And when I push it through, you can see, TikTok, I'm gonna show you in a second. You can see, like, look at the curl pattern. Is the curls just look juicy, like, ready to go. So yeah, just give me a second. Let me just add more, a little bit more water, rake it through, more water, rake it through, because I'm just raking the product downwards, right? And don't worry about the line in the middle or the white, the white cast on the hair. I'll show you how to get rid of both of those, but you have to stick through the live to be able to see that. Show the back of my hair some love. Y'all that say that this don't work on 4C hair. The back of my hair is like 4C, eh? <laughs> Dang, I got I gotta go. First time I'll catch you on live and now I have to leave early. Ah Victor, you gotta go. Victor's tapping out early. Alright. <laughs> no worries, Victor, no worries. Um hit me up in the in my DMs. Any of you guys, you guys already know, you just have to be patient with me. There's literally hundreds of DMs. I literally spent a week one time not posting because I was literally in my DMs. Like just trying to respond to people, taking all day <laughs> to respond. But if you need help, extra help, just send me a DM. It's best if you send me a DM on Instagram because on Instagram, anybody who has who knows me here, who uh, who I've responded to so far, they know I don't just send you guys a generic copy paste message. I don't do that bull crap. What I will actually do is I'll send you a voice note. Like I personally, like I will help you and be like, all right, let me follow up. Like, yo, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. Like I will send you a voice note. I will, if I have time, I'll literally prop up my camera, send you a quick video, one minute video, two minute long voice notes. <laughs> These guys know me like, Victor, you've been sent voice notes. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah, if you need help, it's better on IG because I can't send voice notes and stuff on, um, on TikTok. But it's way easier for me because obviously I just read slower and I type slower. And for me to get through that many DMs, I, it's way easier if you uh, uh, send, send it through Instagram. And if you don't have Instagram, just create an account. Just, just to get the hair help or skincare help, whatever you want. All right, so yeah, so the hair's looking dope. The curls are already there. Like, I'm just gonna give the back a little bit more love. TikTok, we're at 14, 14.5K likes. <laughs> Yo guys, can you guys just make that an even 15? <laughs> 
<laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yo, listen, the likes, the likes, the comments, the shares, the follows, this like I I don't ever I don't ever plan on doing it either. I don't wanna like I had it before but I took it away. Like charging for like a one-on-one -on -one and stuff like that. Like that's why it takes me longer because I don't do one-on-ones. Because I try to help as many people as I can for free. So like there's no charge for one-on-ones. There's no charge for me to, you know, spend time and like follow up with you guys and all that stuff. I just ask all the time. The only thing I ask for is return is follows, likes, comments, shares, all that, that good stuff. Someone said it looks so pretty. Thank you. He's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Now that my hair, now that my hair is like really wet, the curl pattern is like really there. It's like really, really evident. You can see it a lot. Um, um damn y'all y'all are so nice while I was talking y'all ran it up to 19k shoot <laughs> shoot thank you all right now that it's like that I'm gonna shake the the famous shake <laughs> that's that's literally all it is from here so again you could do that in your shower and stuff like that too right yeah <laughs> there's so much there's so much water coming out this is why i say do this in your shower like my whole sink like my wife's gonna come and be like yo what the frig were you doing <laughs> i was alive <laughs> but yo so now that you now that i've like shake shaking it up like look look at my curls like i i haven't done anything but raked the product through y'all saw how it started yes to answer this question number one comment i see that people who are lazy I'm calling y'all out. People who are lazy, who don't want to take the time to do this, will be like, oh, his hair was already curly. Yes, my hair's already curly. Type 4 hair, if you have type A, type B, type C, I don't care if you want to call yourself type D, y'all have curly hair. Type 4 hair is curly. That's the one myth that a lot of people don't realize. Like, you've went your whole life looking at type 3, saying, I want type 3 because it looks looser. I want that because it's, it's you know, it looks like that way or whatever. My hair can't do that. I thought my whole life... <laughs> <laughs> that my hair could not do this. I used to cut my hair all the time and just be like, nope, curls are not for me. My hair is not going to be able to curl. And when I took the time to actually learn and take time, like I've done this multiple times. That's why I'm making it, it looks kind of easy. Like when I'm doing it, I'm like, okay, rake the product. Okay, add some more water. Okay, keep the water on deck. You know, whatever, whatever. Okay, shake. And that's easy. But I've done this so many times and failed. Like I've done it and my hair just didn't come out right. I've done it, I did it again and it didn't come out right. Like to the point now where it's like my hair is trained. It knows what to do. It knows how to make those curls pop. And you can see like my curl pattern, it looks more coily. It's not, um, not so much so like a, as, it's not a tight texture, but it's not super loose curls like a type three. So um, that's why I'm like, it's the perfect in between. So that means absolutely it works on type three. Absolutely it works on type four and the, the tightest textures of type four. It's just, it's more time consuming and more patience on a type four because your hair texture is tighter. Not that to say, oh, your hair is not good. It's not beautiful. It's not, no, don't, don't believe that lie. Your hair is nice and it's, it's amazing. And when you define your curls, if you want to define your curls, if that's for you, you can do it too. Like. That's what I love about my hair. I can braid it, I can twist it, I can finger coil it, I can make it curly, I can make it into an afro. There's so many different things you can do with it. But I just talk about curly hair because that's what people want to see. <laughs> so that's why I do it a lot, right? I do finger coils and stuff like that as well. And also that's why the coils, the hair looks coily. Like it looks like it's kind of more wrapped around and it's trained because I've trained my hair to be curly like that by using, by doing the finger coiling technique. Right. So that's what's making them look more bouncier and like the pattern to look more. I don't even know if, how you would want to say it um, like coilies. It looks it looks coilier. Right. OK, here's one last step before some of y'all plug and be like, All right, I seen it. I came. I saw <laughs> there's still more to it. If you want to take it the extra mile, if this is good for you, honestly, like if this is like this level of curls and again i do have the line in the middle i'll show you how to get rid of the line and a little bit of white i'll show you how to get rid of that in a second too but if you want to take it one extra step like and you're like yo i want one i want to make sure that it lasts a long time and two sorry i'm just shaking my head as i'm seeing it because i'm seeing like the line i'm getting rid of the line one the easiest way to get rid of that line is shaking your hair because when you see when i shake it and i'm shaking 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 my hair it starts to kind of fade away that line the second way to get rid of that line is with a pick. If you have a pick, to fluff. Picks are not to be dragging through your hair because, yeah, I know that's swaggy. Have the pick in the back pocket. Yeah, I used to do that too. 
<laughs> it's not for that. Your pick is to fluff up your hair, right? So you can use your pick also to fluff up your hair and get rid of that line in the middle. You can literally just take your hands and just literally lift up the hair and it will get it will start to get rid of that line down the middle as well. Um, regarding the, the um, and then I'm gonna get to some of the questions. I see some of you guys in the comments asking questions. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just trying to teach right now. So I feel like a teacher. Save all questions to the end. So when, 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 I'm, when I'm answering questions, I'll do that. But another thing that you can do, because my hair is soaking wet right now, if I left my head like this, it would not dry until the end of the night. Like it won't dry until like 9 p.m. It's 2 p.m. here. So it won't probably dry for like another five, six hours because based off of my length and my hair type and my, um, my porosity, it takes a long time for the product to penetrate. It takes a long time for the water to penetrate. It takes a long time for it to dry. High porosity hair, if you have like the high porosity hair like my son, if you ever see my son in my videos, it passes through quickly and it dries quickly, right? Low porosity, like if you have it like myself, it's gonna take a long time. So what we could do is we could use a blow dryer. When it comes to a blow dryer, give me one second, I'm just reaching for my blow dryer. When it comes to blow drying your hair, this is what I use to blow out the hair. So anybody who had a question, especially in the beginning, again, I have a video I'm gonna drop within a couple of days talking about how to blow out your hair to get it at that starting point that y'all saw it at. But for the blow dryer, traditionally, you see a lot of people do this, especially uh, people who have type three hair. You see those? Because there's not a lot of guys doing their hair yet. There's some coming up now, I see on TikTok and on Instagram, but the girls, the ladies, this, this is the one. <laughs> the diffuser, the classic diffuser for, you know, you see them go like this in the tutorial, you know, they're just doing their thing. I don't want you to use this if you want your hair to have more volume. Especially a lot of you guys who want volume. If you trade off volume, you'll have, you'll have a bit more frizz, but you'll have more volume. Your hair will look longer, a little bigger, um, and it will even get bigger throughout the week. Um, that's where you trade off this guy. So this is the diffuser. The diffuser, yeah, it will still get the job done if you only have a diffuser or you only have the actual blow dryer itself, that's fine. But I recommend a, a nozzle because the nozzle actually pushes the hair around and as it pushes the hair around, you'll get to do a little bit more like cooler stuff in my opinion. So let me plug it in. Give me one second. Don't leave the live. See, there's something dropping again. I told you guys I'm a very klutzy guy. There's always something dropping. All right, so with the nozzle attachment, with any blow dryer, period, when you're using your blow dryer, shouldn't be touching up my face like this before I break out. My face always breaks out. Um, when you're using your blow dryer, the cool setting, especially for my young guys that don't know this kind of stuff yet, cool setting, cool shot. Because if you just use the regular heat settings, you can cause heat damage, especially if you're holding the blow dryer close to your hair. When you're clo holding it super close to your hair, that's the quickest and easiest way to fry out your hair. Um, especially like down at your scalp because you're like, ah, oh, it's just taking a long time. Again, patience. It literally takes patience. You do this, let's say for example, I do my hair on a Sunday. If I do my hair on a Sunday morning, it will last me from Sunday to Sunday because I did it, I did it in the morning, I dried it, whatever, and I'm good to go for the week, right? So cool setting and then I'm gonna show you a couple of quicks. I'm not gonna fully dry my hair because that would take a really long time, but I'm gonna show you why I say nozzle versus the diffuser when you're doing this, especially if you want the volume and you want the length, right? Like if you were here in the beginning, you saw how much my hair has shrunk, right? Cause it's just shrinkage, it's just a sign of healthy hair. Don't hate shrinkage. <laughs> shrinkage is telling you that you have healthy hair. <laughs> you just gotta work with it, <laughs> all right? so. This is a, yeah, so I'm gonna show you um, what I'm talking about. I won't be able to talk because obviously I'm not gonna talk over the blow dryer, but I'm gonna show you, stop it, talk about it, show you, stop it, talk about it, right? So one thing I was just doing right there is I stre gently stretch the curl, especially if you want a little bit like bangs like if you're trying to cover up you know a little bit more in the front you can take the curls especially the ones in the front and give them a gentle stretch 
and then blow dry it, right? If you did that throughout your whole entire head, it would take a really long time. But if you have the time, kudos, do you. But, <laughs> but me, I don't have the time to go throughout my whole head unless it's like a really chill day and I'm not doing anything, which is really unlikely. <laughs> but yeah, if you want, you can do that. But if you just like, yo, I just want a couple of like bangs. I want a couple of curls to drop a little bit more. Like it's even as I touch that one, it dropped down a little bit more. But it will, when, as it's drying, it's not gonna stay in this position and dry in this position. It's gonna shrink back up because it's wet. It's still wet, right? It's gonna, it's gonna shrink back up. But if you want it to be stretched and in that position, take your blow dryer, stretch it, I'm joking. I'm having too much fun with this. But that that is literally how you can kind of get a little bit more bangs. Like you can get a little bit more hang on your hair as well. That's easy as quickest way. Now this won't stay like this. Even though I just did that and it kind of stayed stretched for a little bit, it's still not gonna stay like that because it's still wet. But I'm just showing you with a little bit of tension, a little bit of um a little bit of tension and a little bit of uh the blow drying on it, it will it will sit like that if you do it for a little bit longer, right? Like actually dry your head. Now, okay, for the rest of the head, again, why I recommend the nozzle attachment versus the uh, diffuser or like no attachment at all. You'll see when I turn this back on, how it pushes and moves the hair around. Because it, as it's pushing and moving the hair around, it's not gonna dry flat. So if I look straight onto the camera, you see how this angle is like, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on right here? It's just like a slant, right? If you wanna get rid of those slants or like, and you want your hair to look more What's the word I'm looking for? Like it just has more volume, like just more round, your hair is more round. Use the nozzle, lean your hair. And you see how it moves the hair around? And as I would be doing that, I would be shaking my hair. Right? And if I'm shaking my hair and I'm doing that, then I'm gonna get the volume that I'm looking for. Hopefully that makes sense. So that's the whole thing with the blow dryer. I'm not drying my hair right now while we're on this live. I will, cause I'm busy for the rest of the day, I will let it dry just by itself. Last tip that I think I can give you on this. Um, if you want, if you want, dang, there's 500 people on the live on TikTok. <laughs> What up? <laughs> Before I continue, <laughs> all you 500 people, if you're not following, make sure you hit that follow button. <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> I haven't been able to get, to interact with you guys too, too tough. But <laughs> what up? My name's Carlton. If you're not following, please hit that follow button. I greatly appreciate y'all. I'll continue on the live now. So, yo, so if you want a little bit more, like, again, if you want this to, one, if you want it to last a longer time, and you see, if you notice, I'll show you guys in a second IG. If you notice a close up, you see how there's a little bit of frizz? Like that frizz or these ones that just, they don't have as much definition. They, like it's there, the potential's there, but they don't look like these guys down here, like juicy curls. So same thing, you see how there's like, there's some frizz at the top and these guys don't have as much definition. I'm gonna show you how I give those ones more definition. It's just a little bit more product because we've already raked enough product in there for the week don't go splurging in and adding like a whole bunch like literally when i say a little bit like there's a thin layer of gel on my fingertip very very thin because most of the hair already has it on it right i'll go after those curls that look like they don't have as much definition this is only if i have time and i'm being extra i'm doing it for a video sake or something smooth it in Big, big difference. I'm gonna show you what happens when we twist it versus smoothing. Cause the way you style your hair, like the technique that you're using will change the way the curl looks. So smooth, smooth, smooth. And when I let it go, way more definition. So TikTok saw that, way more definition. Y'all saw how frizzy it was in this a second ago. Way more definition, you can let it go and just let it go on your head. So smoothing the product into frizzier looking curls. Nine times out of 10 when I do this, the frizz, the frizz lives at the top. So remember I was showing you guys all of that, like, oh, make sure we're breaking it through. All my frizz lives at the top of my head, right? That's why I say that everybody, you don't got one texture in your head. You got multiple textures, but you see all this frizz as I'm propping it up, 
Like you can see where it's frizzy, right? So if I want to get rid of that frizz, like it's not the end of the world. Like if you leave frizz in your hair, it's going to give your hair more volume. So you just trade off. Do I want more volume or do I want more definition? If you want more definition, do what I'm about to do. If you want more volume, leave it how it is, blow dry it, use your pit, volume. Boom. Very easy. Volume. Like your job is way done. The people who want volume, way less work. People who want more definition, more work. <laughs> y'all, y'all want to put in the work. So then this is what you would do. I would take those, those pieces of hair and all I'm quickly doing is just literally smoothing it in. Just smoothing it into those frizzy looking curls or those frizzier looking areas. And if you're like, yo, I want a little bit of a mix. I want a little bit of both. I want a little bit of frizz. That's okay. Um, for a little bit more volume, but I just don't want to see anything looking like wildly frizzy Then yeah, you can do this to a few just pick a few curls because this is like when you're being More like detailed and you want to go in a little bit extra But other than that like again You can just get away with that whole shake where I ended it a whole minute ago And you could just get away with that shake and be done like easy boom. But if you're like nah, I want a little bit of extra You know Whatever it's picture day Whatever you're going on date night the next day, I don't know. <laughs> Depending on where you're at in life. So you can do that. Um, another thing, when I'm running my hands through my hair, you see how like there's a split right there? I'm showing TikTok, I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, you guys can see it too. There's, you see how the hair splits? Like when I grab this, this was all one. But when I, when I put my finger through and I split it, you can split it and you'll get even more definition. The smaller you make your curls, the more and more definition you'll have. Those videos that you see me doing, I do that on purpose. That's, <laughs> that's because I get paid to do that. <laughs> if you're not getting paid and you don't want to do that, you don't want to take the time to do all that, don't do that because that's going to take you a long time. You see I said it should take you two hours? It's going to take you way longer. Again, we've been doing this since two to three and my hair already looks like, it looks really good. Like I, I would rock this outside my house and be like, and I guarantee you people are going to be like, oh damn, yo homie, I didn't know black people could do that. <laughs> just because I just you know I showed y'all I showed y'all the sauce y'all have the sauce now so and this is this uh, this um this live uh, I believe it records it so I'll, I'll post it as well so you can like kind of skip through and, and watch the parts that you want to watch uh, someone asked me about YouTube content earlier I was dropping a video literally doing exactly what I'm showing you guys right now there's just some setbacks with like the licensing of the music stuff. So when it's done, when it's done, it will be up. This this technique, this exact technique is gonna be up on, on uh, YouTube uh, using the same products. The only, the only difference with the YouTube video is I show you the behind the scene of uh, the shampooing part, like the cleansing, the cleansing your hair part. So yeah. Yeah, so then we would grab some of those frizzier looking curls and all I'm doing is smoothing it. I'm just smoothing the gel in smoothing it in and also the ones that are kind of caught up like they feel like they're like a little bit more tangled up i am splitting my finger down them to get more definition because i don't want to come back and do my hair i'm not adding more product throughout the week i'm literally gonna have my hair looking like this the whole time again if you see me on my stories or something you're gonna see my hair like this and you're like yo man did his hair and he said i don't want to touch it again because <laughs> uh, one you're just causing more stress to your hair and Two, um, the styling is not going to last as long. You know what I mean? Again, for the new people that are just joining on the live on TikTok, I appreciate the follows and I appreciate the likes because I do see it. I'm not ignoring it. I just, I'm trying to teach. But make sure to hit that follow button because there will always be curly hair content and there's even more con more different types of content that are coming out right now. More like self-care, um, self-care content that's coming out right now as well. Oh, also, I did make no. I did tell you guys that um, I would show you how to get rid of the white. The white that's kind of lingering in the hair a little bit. You can see it just a little bit. It's not too, too tough now. As I've been talking and as I've been like kind of just smoothing the product in, the white has been disappearing a little bit because it's just low porosity. My hair is low porosity. It takes product a long time to penetrate it and it takes a long time for it to actually like get seep into the hair. Think of, um, for you guys that don't know what porosity is, or just are like confused about the whole thing, the whole idea of what the heck is porosity is actually super important. Don't skip over porosity. Everybody knows about hair type, but then nobody knows about porosity. And I'm like, porosity is more important than your hair type, because then you'll use the right products. You might have thick, thick type, um, 
type 4 hair, but then have high porosity. It's possible. So you need to know, just because I'm saying, oh, these are products that are working for me, blah, 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 blah. They are working for my low porosity hair. There's even people who have medium porosity, like in between, like a mix of a uh, high and low. Um, but yeah, the easiest way to explain porosity, again, to my young boys <laughs> that don't know, is like the cuticle, is the cuticle of the hair. So the cuticle of the hair for high porosity is like a V. It's open, it allows water to pass through very easily, and it also means it dries very easily. The hair shaft dries very, very easily. For low porosity, the, the cuticle is closed, it's tight. So when I, you see me applying all the product to my hair, and especially in the beginning of the video, like, or live, then what's happening is that's why the hair looks so white because it's just sitting on top and it's taking a long time for the, the product to actually penetrate and get into the hair shaft, right? So things like when I use the blow dryer on the hair, that also is kind of helping the hair to absorb it and it will make that white dissipate. So you can use your blow dryer to kind of get rid of that extra white, whitey look that you see on your hair as well, sorry. But yeah, um, you can continue again, you can continue to smooth the product in I pay a little bit more attention to the front of the hair um, because obviously you look at people straight on <laughs> and that gives it more definition. Shoot, I did that without even explaining it. What I'm doing to the front of the hairs, especially like some of these smaller, thinner hairs of mine, what I'll do is I'll take the gel again, I'll smooth it in, and instead of just smoothing it, like I can smooth it and let it go and it, eh, that look nice, like it looks pretty sick, like there's a curl there. But if I want to get even more definition, I'll smooth it in and I'll take my finger and I twist it once, max twice, no more than that. And I'll tell you why in a second, and then I'll let it go. It will have a little bit more of a curl at the, sorry, it'll have a little bit more of a curl at the end. And it just, for me, I like that definition. If you don't wanna do that, fine. But the, I like that extra definition, that extra, you know, that look of like looking super curly. Um, and again, I only do that to the fronts. If I was doing that to my whole head, if I was taking the hair and you could, if you're fast, like I'm pretty fast, I'm going, I'm taking my time because I'm explaining everything. But if I was to do that and take it and twist, 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 what's going to happen is you see how these curls look, a li they look stretched, they look elongated because we did the raking method, right? If I did that and I did that twisting method to the, all of these curls, there's going to be mad shrinkage. There'll be so much definition because when you give it that twist, you're going to get more definition. You see that already, you get more definition, but there's going to be so much shrinkage. Like shrinkage is wild when you twist your hair, right? So especially, if, but if you want, if you want that look, if you want, like again, in the video that you saw me do, that's why my hair looks longer than it was in that video. That video I recorded it only on about last month. It's not like my hair grew so much in one month. It's the only difference is that I'm, sh I'm stretching. And in that video, after I stretched it, I did give them a little bit of twist on certain individual curls because it just gave more definition, right? So for the sake of the video. But um, yeah, like you can get away. You can get away with this. I There's no reason why not. See, I, I told you how I'm klutzy. I'm dropping so much stuff. But you can you can definitely get away with that right so again i'm just going to smooth it into those frizzier looking curls you can even group it up like if that's taking a long time you see how i just grouped up a whole bunch of curls all at once smooth 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 and then you can do what's like called basically sorry ig i gotta show ig i'm smoothing into like a group of curls and then i'm going to do what's called the shingling method just take them down one by one and now the way I'm doing that is I'm splitting it with my finger, just putting putting it where it's already split and going down. Oh, my legs feel like I'm getting a workout in today. So yeah, and then I'm basically doing the shingling method. I'm just taking the hair, putting my fingers through, and just dropping it down. Take my hand, put it through, drop it down, drop it down easy and then that's how we're getting rid of uh most of the frizz right like i said that's pretty much it that's pretty much it i'm not gonna keep going in on the hair now i want to do a little bit of q and a with some of y'all so because y'all have a lot of questions so i'll do my best to answer on both places again i'm not ignoring i'm just i'm teaching There, I flip the phone around so I can see the questions. Okay, cool. 
Okay, someone said, can I see the conditioner? Absolutely. What, what's your name? I didn't even see your name there. Let me just clean it off. <laughs> Again, I, I would do this in the shower. So if you did this in the shower, it's not gonna be as messy. Like I, I did it at the sink, so limited space. The conditioner that's used, the conditioner that's being used was the twist. Give me it all four in one conditioner. So it is a four in one. I not I know not everybody, um, not everybody loves great question. How do you hide your scalp? I'm gonna show you. Oh yeah, I did tell you I was gonna do that. Um, so not everybody loves four in ones, but I like that one for its consistency. Um, to answer my friends over here, uh, JD Walker, um, he said, how do you hide your scalp? So that like middle part, especially as I was parting and parting the hair, the one thing I forgot to put down here was my pick because the pick is usually what gets rid of that part. So what I would do is I would take the pick and I would pick from the, the root and just fluff, right? You're just fluffing it up with the, with the pick and it will give you that, it'll prop it up and it'll start to hide the part that's down the middle. And then also as you shake your hair, right? My hair is getting longer now. Now when I shake it forward, it's just like slapping my forehead. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> it's just slapping it. But um, that is definitely the fastest way to get rid of that part is the shake and then taking your pick and fluffing it up. And you see, even as I already shook, just like I just shook my hair like crazy, um, you can kind of see that it moved the hair around, right? So we're already like kind of getting rid of it a little bit, right? Uh, it would be way better if I had my pick and then also using your blow dryer and blow drying the hair, moving the hair around, that will also get rid of your, um, your, uh, the middle, the part in the middle. Someone said what length? Sorry. Uh, length check, so like a length check and what's, what length is required. I'm assuming that's what you were trying to say. Uh, the length of your hair to shake it, I don't, like when I started, when my hair was able to shake, give me one second, let me turn off the light behind me because I know it's like you shining right in your guys' face. But the length that my hair was when I, um, when I was able to shake it was like, I want to say just about a year. If it wasn't eight months, to a year but again i wasn't doing as many protective styles as i could have been right because like i was always doing curly hair content and stuff like that or like i just liked the curly look so i wasn't doing protective styles if you're doing protective styles and stuff like that you're gonna get there a lot faster so definitely that's one thing for sure that you keep in mind is that the length would be determined by how fast do you get to that length and you can get there a lot faster than i did other than that like my the, i did recently get a trim before i got the trim my hair was longer my hair is about just just about like to the tip of my nose. Um, when I when I when, before I got it cut, it was like at my mouth, so that was like quite a bit of a trim, right? So more than an inch. Someone said after the process of washing washing and curling, do you do 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 you add products in the week? Also, how do you protect your curls while you sleep? Okay, easy questions. So during the week, after I've washed it, I've dried it, my curls are popping, whatever. Am I adding more product? No. If I absolutely need to, the only time I'm adding more product, because if you saw I added enough product in here as well, the only time that I'm gonna add more product in, the only time that I'm gonna add more product in is, let's say after a week. But even that, now I'm risking my head getting itchy and build up in my head because you've already added like enough product into your hair and you're gonna add more product in. Like it can become very itchy and it can become, um, uh, yeah, it could become, it could become like uh, irritating, right? So no, I wouldn't add it in. And how do you maintain it? You would wear a bonnet. Jeremy, bro answers one question every 30 minutes because I'm actually thorough. I'm not just giving you a generic answer. <laughs> And I read slow as hell. Too bad. <laughs> I already have curly hair, but how do um, how do I get my hair to look like the like the style you have? So if you already have curly hair, like myself, I already have curly hair. That statement kind of is confusing because you're making it sound like I don't have curly hair. <laughs> I have curly hair. If you have curly hair, the process is how we started in the beginning. If you missed the beginning, 
Hey, Javon, sub crossing. What up, my guy? Um, if your hair is if your hair is already curly and you want it to get curly like this, then it is really the raking method. That's all I did. I raked the product through my hair and then I shook it. Right. So that's that's pretty much what it is. How do you refresh your curls in the morning? Okay, great question. When my curls are like, because after you've dried it, they've already taken shape, and then now you're gonna lie down with your bonnet on your head, um, the easiest way to reshape it is with your hands. If you try to use your hands and your and your pick just to just to fluff, don't go through because if you go through, you're just gonna wreck the curls, right? The the styling that you took like two hours to do. So easiest way is to do. Um, is just use your hands like once it's dried in the morning just take your hand and just kind of reshape it that's literally what i uh, what i do and if it's like later on in the week and i want to give it back a little bit more refreshness like a real a real refreshed look is i spritz it with water right but that's not until like day five day six then you would add water again because then you're just going to make it look really frizzy what was the spray bottle you used earlier on with um early on called on amazon I don't know the name on Amazon. If you search continuous spray, but the easiest way to find these is if you look in my bio, just click the link in my bio, you'll see my Amazon storefront, click it, and there's a, a category that I call tools and tools that you'll need for curly hair or whatever. Um, this spray bottle is in it, uh, is in that section on Amazon. It's a continuous spray, everybody loves this. Cause all you do is press it once, you see how it keeps going like I, Press the thing once and it just keeps spraying. And if you keep pressing it, it will have a longer continuous spray. So which is like really, really dope for styling your hair. What product do you use to detangle your hair? Conditioner. It's the easiest thing to use to, de uh, to uh, detangle your hair. Just use conditioner. Um, don't go in on wet hair. Yeah, Elijah's letting you guys know. He said twist conditioner and add Jackie's gel. Yep, yeah, that's what we did. Can we see the gel you use? Absolutely. The gel that I used was Aunt Jackie's. Where's the lid? Oh, I dropped it on the floor. Aunt Jackie's uh, Don't Shrink Flax Seed Gel. Also linked in my Amazon storefront. Oh, to be super transparent, if y'all are buying stuff from the Amazon storefront, I do receive like a small commission. Help your boy out. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't want to, I don't care. Go to the go to the actual website or you can grab it in Walmart or whatever. But like, yeah, if you want to help your boy out, go <laughs> go to the Amazon storefront. That's why I usually that's my initial answer, and it's very easy because I linked everything in there. I was like gels, the the tools I use, everything that I use is in there. But if not, don't, just go to the website. Go to the website or go to your go to your uh, Walmart um, or whatever, right? But I know not everywhere uh, that some of you guys are has Walmart. I respect the transparency, absolutely. That's why I always, yeah, I'm not one of those creators that don't put paid if it was paid. If it's a paid advertisement, it's paid. I gotta be real, keep it 100. Um, how often do you brush your hair? I only brush my hair or detangle my hair once a week, which is when I'm styling my hair. Other than that, I am not detangling and brushing it and going in on it every single time. That's just a fast way for breakage, like one of the fastest way to breakage. What do you think about Shea Moisture Conditioner? Shea Moisture's Conditioner? <laughs> Sorry, my mom joined. <laughs> Shout out to my mommy. <laughs> uh, uh, don't embarrass me on the IG side. Hey, these are my friends. Don't <laughs> but what you call it? So what do I think about Shea Moisture Conditioner? Shea Moisture Conditioner is dope. Um, that's actually where I started with. But again, you can't leave that conditioner in your hair throughout the week. So it just... Um, it's uh, it's not what I go to anymore because this one I can leave in for the week or the whole time that I have my hair styled. That's why that this one, the twist one, is my go-to. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, come off the line, man. <laughs> She's killing me in the chat. She said, "Tell them, tell them where you got their hair from." Yes, my hair is from my mom's, obviously. <laughs> All right, what do you think about this Jesse's coil and custard and the leave-in, the leave-in conditioner? Uh, Miss Je Miss Jessie's coiling custer and the leave-in conditioner. I the one I've used is the Pillow Soft Curls, but I haven't used it on my own hair. I use it on my son's hair. He has type three hair. It's bomb. Like I use that in his hair all the time. It is so like it's it's really nice and it works really well for his hair. I don't know how it would work in my hair. If I do test it out and I like it, I'll create a video about it. But I haven't. It's so much, so much laughing. Y'all laughing at me like my mom's on the live, eh? 
Oh, apartment 205, you're out here? Why are you joining the live so late? What's wrong with this guy? He's like, oh my God, Karate, keep going. <laughs> Number one fan over here. All right, thank you, bro. <laughs> If you just want to start your curly, your hair journey, any tips? Um, what did I do in the beginning? Number one thing for, for actually, here's a good tip for curly hair journey. Um, for your curly hair journey, make sure you're detangling your hair properly. So the reason why I just got like, a, like what I would call like a, a heavy trim, like the trim that I got recently, like again, my, my hair was like on my mouth, now it's like on my nose. Like that's like, that's more than an inch. Your hair grows about half an inch every single month. So that's more than an inch. That was a lot of hair for me. Um, that's probably like set back like two, three months, right? But the number one thing that I would tell people is detangle your hair properly. Because when you do curly styles like this, you're actually manipulating the hair, right? You're, you're making the hair lock in together or you're smoothing it in and the hair's curling in together. It looked really nice. But the one problem that I ran into why I just had to chop off what I would feel like, oh my gosh, like that's months back, setback, is because I wasn't detangling my hair fully. And this is just me being super transparent with you guys because I don't want you to do it. Because um, when you're just doing that on a regular basis, you're manipulating the hair and whatnot, and you're not detangling it fully, it, again, it will lock in on itself and it'll create what's called the sing, uh, single strand knot. It's literally the hair itself is has a knot in and on itself. That single strand knot, I, and again, I created videos on this for this week. So this week's content, look out, you'll see me talking about it. Um, and you'll see me like going to the salon and getting my hair trimmed and whatnot. But that single strand knot, what it does, it latches onto healthy hair that's just growing and doing its own thing. It will latch onto that. And then when you're trying to detangle your hair, I don't know if you've ever noticed sometimes when you're detangling your hair or you're combing through it with your wide tooth and whatnot, you feel those little knots and they come out. Sometimes they come out. But if they're not coming out and they lock in onto each other, it will break off that healthy hair. So if you're breaking off the healthy hair, the, the new growth that's, that's growing out and it breaks it off, now your hair is gonna feel like, why is it like my hair's not growing longer? It seems like it's staying at the same length. It's because sometimes your hair is full of knots and those little knots, and I'm being super transparent, my hair had those knots in it. It had quite a bit of those knots in it because I wasn't detangling my hair fully. And when I say that, I mean like, I was at one point, I was really just doing finger detangling, which is cool, fine, but when you have thicker, coarser hair, or like if your hair's a little bit thicker, then you're gonna wanna finger detangle, then go in with a wide tooth comb, and even still this, if you're, when you're in the shower with your conditioner in your hair, something that has smaller teeth. I, I know this one scares a lot of you guys with type four hair because you're like, yo, that won't pass through my hair. I didn't think this was gonna pass through my hair too, but when you finger detangle, then use a wide tooth comb, then go in with something with smaller teeth because you're gonna end up with less um, knots in your hair. And if you let those knots chill and just hang out, it will break off good, healthy hair and it just creates more knots. Literally one knot can start to create two, three, four, five, six, seven knots. And again, if you have all those knots in your hair, your hair might look nice, but when you go in to touch it, you're gonna, it's gonna feel rough and a little bit coarse because you're touching knots, right? So that's my number one thing. I know, sorry, I went off on that question, but it's because that was, that was me a couple of months ago. So just make sure you're detangling your hair fully and properly. Can your hair go from nappy hair to curly hair? I hate when people say nappy hair. <laughs> your hair is not nappy. <laughs> your hair is not nappy. Nine times out of ten, it's just dry. It's just dry. Or like you're not taking care of your hair. Like when you're not taking care of your hair, it's gonna... And I, what I also don't like about it is that like society deems your hair as nappy. Like your hair is not nappy. Like because people say, oh, this is good hair and this is not good hair. All hair is good. I don't care if you have type 4 hair. I was in the category where I thought I didn't have good hair. But, you know, so um, your hair is not nappy. All it is is probably dry. And to get it moisturized, easiest thing is start with this. With your, on your wash days, start using your shampoo, your conditioner, then deep condition. When you deep condition your hair, do not just add deep condition to your hair five minutes and rinse it out, which is what the labels say you can usually do. After you add your deep condition in, get a shower cap, add heat with your blow dryer for 20 to 30 minutes and this is for people who are like i really want to take care of my hair and i want my hair to the curls to pop i do it all the time every week uh deep condition your hair for 20 to 30 minutes it will it will deeply moisturize and make that product penetrate your hair it will open up the hair shaft especially if you have low porosity hair it's going to help open up the hair shaft to allow the product to actually get in and through and your curls will look more they'll pop right so yeah that's uh, sorry, a long, a long answer again, but I hope it helps. So what's a routine that I should do every week? 
like how much conditioner and stuff. Uh, you might not have been on the beginning of the live, but the amount of conditioner that I use is like a lot. <laughs> I'm going to drop a YouTube video. I, I have it edited and everything. I'm just figuring out a couple of things. I promise you it's going to be up within a couple of weeks. It should have been up from time. Forgive me. But it will. I, will sh I show in the video how much conditioner I use. Like when I use conditioner, like the, that palm part of my hand is full of conditioner because I'm using as much conditioner as I have hair. Right? So, you know. Giving fingernails. What? what the hell are you saying? Um, can, can you explain the curly hair routine again? Sure. <laughs> so, so the curly hair routine, what it is, is I rake the product through my hair. So when you rake the product through your hair, um, when I rake the product through my hair, I literally am soaking my hair, adding, a, adding the conditioner into it. I like to use a conditioner that can be left in my head because then it will allow my, it'll allow my, um, my curls to pop. Then after that, then I'm going to go in with my gel. I rake that in in the same direction, and then I'm going to add some more water. You see my hair still dripping. That's how wet it is. And then I shake my hair. And that's pretty much the routine. If you missed the video, if you missed the live from the beginning, don't worry. It's going to be recorded, and it'll be posted. So then that way you can see, you can see step by step. Um, just a forewarning, guys. I, I'm going to end the live in about 15 minutes. But get your questions in. Like Keep shooting your questions. Okay, uh, do, 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 do. what products do you use? My number one, I used to get asked this question a lot in the beginning and I was like, I don't know, I'm testing different products. But I'll tell you, after testing like a lot of products, because all these companies are sending me products, my number one conditioner right now is actually a cheap conditioner. I've tried literally custom made conditioners made for me. Like, yes, they're good, they're amazing. They have like, they're so good, they're organic and they're made just for you, whatnot. But this one, bring nothing brings out my curls like this so i do have different favorite ones like i could tell you top three gels top three uh conditioners that i've used that top three shampoos deep conditioners whatever but conditioner this is my top one so i can give you that one at least right now and tell you that my number one is this one what what about shea moisture shea moisture i like them i, I like shea moisture products um there are some 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 of their their lines i don't love as much but i i like them Give me one sec. Uh, Kitty, Kitty, you said, hey, hey. Uh, okay, so someone said, what should I ask my stylist to get to make it look like yours? Well, are you talking about even the cut? I don't know. Is that the name, son? If you're talking about the cut, if you're, ta if you're talking about the cut, if you're talking about how to get this cut, I'm late. Don't worry, my guy. I see you. Um, if you're talking about even the cut that I got, uh, that's, that's a drop fade. So if you go on my profile, you'll see there's a video there that said, um, that said the best fade to get with, a, with curly hair. And it was, it was the drop fade. You can do any fade, but I was just being extra. You know, I'm, I'm always extra in the videos. Don't always take everything you know <laughs> literal. But this is a drop fade. And then to get the curls like this it was a whole technique. So you'd have to watch the live again. But let me know, because then I can do that for you. Okay. Someone said, can you dry your hair and keep it curly? Absolutely. Calvin, uh, you said, can you dry your hair and leave it and get it curly? Absolutely. So when this dries, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stay curly. It's going to look a little bit different because my curls are wet, but it will, it actually is going to have more volume because of the little bit more volume because of the little bit of frizz that I left behind, it's going to have more volume in it, but it will stay curly. Absolutely. And then wear your bonnet at night and it will maintain it. What about Cantu products for black hair? I hate Cantu. <laughs> I hate Cantu. <laughs> and everybody always be asking about Cantu. They're like, yo, how you feel about Cantu? I'm like, I don't like it. That's the one product. Like, I've tried so many. Like, and I just like, I don't like Cantu. It just makes my hair feel super dry. It dries out my hair. And there's a lot of um, ingredients in there that I don't like. So, okay. <clears throat> Someone said, how many, um, how many times do you wash your hair? I only wash my hair, sorry. I only wash my hair once a week. Once a week, max, I'll go two weeks. Like if it was a busy week or whatever, I didn't have time, I'll wash, I'll wait two weeks. Uh, someone, you said something, I think in Spanish. I don't know Spanish. I don't know what you're saying. I think that's Spanish, I don't know. 
Where's my wife when I need her? She knows she knows enough Spanish. She would be able to translate. Someone said, can I two strips all that moisture? Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it made my hair feel so dry. Like that's why I was like, I don't like Cantu. But if you like, if you like Cantu and it's working for you, then again, who am I to tell you what to use and what not to use? But if you ask my opinion, I'm gonna tell you don't use Cantu because I don't like it. Are you gonna post a video because I missed everything? I was at school. No worries, Javon. I got you. I got you. Um, I will post this video. I'll post it. It's gonna be a long one. It's almost two hours. But if you're willing to sit and skim through it and stuff, then you'll get a lot of value out of it. Uh, but someone said, but like, do you use conditioner? Um, do you use conditioner every time you shower, then rinse? Because I always rinse it out uh, and do that. Okay, so are you asking, like, am I washing my hair, f like, throughout the week? Because you're saying, like, are you using conditioner every time that I'm in the shower? The only time I wash my hair is once a week. So even if I'm going into shower, like, actually shower off my body, I'm, yeah. So I'm asking your question. You said yes. So to answer that question, no, I am not conditioning my hair when I go in the shower. When I go into the shower, I'm using a shower cap. The only time that I would condition my hair is let's say like a crazy gym week and I'm in the gym like every single day or something and I can, I can see like, you know, it's getting sweaty, it's, it's getting gross, whatever, I can feel the buildup, then yes, I'll go in with a conditioner. That is the only time. But um, I'm not going in with uh, washing my hair every single, every single day. Like the, there's no point because all you're going to do is, especially if you're using the shampoo to wash your hair every single day, you're stripping your hair of its natural oils. So yes, you can use a conditioner throughout the week if you need to, because your lifestyle might be different than mine. You might be in the gym, you might be an athletic, whatever, then cool. Use a conditioner throughout the week. But that's, that's you, right? For me, no, it doesn't. I don't, I don't do it. So don't always take what I'm saying as if it's always going to work for you. It depends on your lifestyle. Someone said, I love you. <laughs> uh, thank you. I'm a married man. <laughs> How long does it normally take you to do your hair? Two hours. What do you use for hair growth? I do, I take, I take, I'm always really on top of my vitamins. Like I make sure I take my vitamins for, you know, just your overall health, but it helps your hair growth as well. So I do take like, I take bi biotin, I take vitamin E, vitamin D, what else? And I had I had some hair supplement growth uh, stuff from Bounce Curl because they gifted it to me, so I was using it. I don't know. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Like it was a gifted thing. I don't. I can tell you the truth. I don't know if it was helping my hair grow like exponentially. Um, because I'm I'm always doing multiple things at once. Like I'm deep conditioning my hair. I'm drinking enough water. That's something that will make your hair grow like low key water. Like everyone sleeps on drinking water. I don't know why, but your intake of water and I was taking other vitamins so I can't tell you if that is the only one you look so handsome thank you so much <laughs> rosemary yes rosemary rosemary and mint that combo especially like the myel rosemary and mint oils can can stimulate growth but use a carrying oil when you use those oils because it can irritate your scalp like if you ever notice, if you ever have tried that specific oil or oils that say rosemary and mint, or it might just have rosemary, it makes your head feel a little bit itchy because you need a carrying oil in it as well. No, you cannot have my children. <laughs> I am married. I said that twice. <laughs> uh, about to take like five hours. Javon, what do you say about to take five hours, bro? About to go wash my hair and do my LLC and stuff. About to take five hours. Joe Javon, how long is your hair, bro? <laughs> Can I use it with castor oil? Yes, you can use it with castor oil. Yeah, great question. Uh, that is a great question. How long do you need to give your hair uh, out? Sorry, what did you mean? D, you said, you said, how long do you need to grow your hair out uh, from the start of your journey? To what, to be able to see it hang, to make it look like this? If, uh, Javon did say almost two years is a good length. Two years is, you're, you're surpassed that. If you want this, at least minimum a year, make sure you're doing a protective style once a month, wearing a bonnet, drinking water, you might even get there before a year, right? And when I say drink water, I don't mean like one glass of water a day, guys. Like you, the amount of water you need um, is a lot. You're really fine, thank you. I layered, I layered off the deep conditioner because 
Oh, sorry. No, I laid off. Sorry, I read it wrong. I laid off the deep conditioner because I used it every... I used it every time after I showered and my curls flattened. I, okay, were you... Every time you shower? Like, you're showering every day and you're using deep conditioner every day? No. You're on, you can... You only need to use a deep conditioner about twice to once to twice a week max. Like, that's it. That's it. That's it. Don't use it that much. That's why your hair was looking like it was flattening out. And because you're over saturated, like you're, you're, you're the amount of product that you're probably pushing into your hair at that point, that's not good. Jelly, thanks for joining. A, thanks for joining. Africa Global, thanks for joining. <laughs> Thanks for joining you guys. If you're new here, make sure to hit that follow button, especially for curly hair content and skincare content. That's what I'm really tackling right now, but there definitely is going to be more different types of content. So just be prepared. IG, let me check. Did y'all have another question? Do you have a YouTube channel? Yes, I do. Click, there's there's just right now, um, there's right now there's just um, my, my shorts. Oh, thank you so much for the gifts. Um, the, but yeah, right now there's just my shorts, which is exactly my videos that you'll see on my TikTok and stuff. Thank you so much for all those gifts. Um, but I'm about to drop some more full te- full um, full length content, like long form content, like eight minute, ten minute long videos. So yeah, what does your hair feel like, fluffy or using uh, after using a conditioner? Yes, it feels very fluffy. It's very light. <laughs> That's why you see it can shake. It's very light. It's very soft. Um, after I put my products in, but even after, I, even before I put my products in, my hair does feel light. J. Robbie, what up? <laughs> J. Robbie, you don't have work? <laughs> but yeah, after I put my products in, my hair definitely does feel like. Uh, can you talk about blowing your hair out to start? Oh, absolutely. Yo, you know what I, I got? I did a video literally blowing out my hair. So I won't go into super detail because I have a video I just made. You're going to see it this week. You're going to see it this week and it's going to talk about how to blow out your hair like i made like a two-part video just on blowing out your hair because that's where we started from and then that's where it went right so um yeah i got a whole video but to blow out your hair you're definitely going to need your blow dryer then you would want your um you want a, a pick atta- like a comb attachment to go on top this one's a universal one if you want something like this amazon I have it linked in my bio. Sorry, guys. I have it linked in my bio from Amazon. It's universal. Like, it can go to most almost any blow dryer. And then it comes through It comes through the, the hair. It's a little bit cheaper. It's not the most expensive one. But gets the job done. Gets it done. Should I use conditioner daily? You can if you want. If you absolutely need to. It really does depend on your hair and your lifestyle. <laughs> Thanks, Elijah. Elijah's like, he's not ignoring you guys. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going between two places. So should you use conditioner daily? Yes, you can use the conditioner daily if you would like. But it does depend on your lifestyle. Like, what are you doing? Chief Mike, no worries, bro. You're welcome. All right, guys, I'm going to end the live in five minutes. So again, just keep shooting your questions. Um, Do you use growth oil? Not anymore. Not as much as I can and I could. Like... I just haven't been using it right now because I'm not like always really worried about the length of my hair. Like, oh, I want my hair super long. I want it to look like this. I'm more concerned about the health of my hair. So like actually taking care of my hair, actually moisturizing it, wearing your bonnet at nighttime, making sure it's moisturized and all that stuff. Like, yeah, you can slip in oils in there too. But sometimes I am busy. But like, so you know, I'm just being like real. I'm a person like just like y'all. So I don't have all the time to be like, oh, let me make sure I do this, 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 and the third. Um... But yeah, I can and you can too. You can use growth oils. <laughs> can I see the back of your head? I, I don't know if I can. <laughs> I don't know the way the camera's positioned. I'm like, I don't know if I can turn it around. Well, 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 let me see if I can turn it around. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it. You can see I can't. <laughs> I can't see what you see. And plus the counter's right here. Like I'm leaning on the counter. So I can't really show you the back of my head. But the back of the head is not, it's not bad. I can feel, I can literally feel the curls. And you see there's curls right there. It's all, it's all styled. It's all styled up to be curly. And it kind of feels like there's a little bit of a dense right here because I didn't really go in. I, I just kind of was focusing on the front for the, for the tutorial sake. But yeah, you can do the back. Like, you know what I mean? Are you done washing your hair? Yeah, Jack. Where are you at, man? And you were probably at school and stuff. Don't worry, bro. <laughs> um, 
Jack, this guy hasn't talked to you in a minute, eh, hey, Jack? <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm done. I'm done with the tutorial. Do you specialize in anything else besides hair? Well, I do. I do skincare content. I'm sharing my fitness journey. That's been like highs and lows, highs and lows, highs and lows. In the gym, out of the gym, in the gym, out of the gym. <laughs> and I'm sharing grooming tips as well. But like, yeah, just to help you guys out. What's my background? My background is Jamaican. What is deep conditioning? Deep conditioning is when you use a deep conditioner or a hair mask. It, it will say hair mask or deep conditioner on it. And then you're using that after you condition your hair. So you shampoo, condition, then deep condition. You add that into your hair. You can add a, put a shower cap on top of your hair and then deep condition with a blow dryer. Add, add heat. I have videos on it. Um, message me because I know that's kind of like very vague. And if you still like still have questions after that, message me on Instagram or just like DM me and say, hey, can you send me the video for how to deep condition your hair? So at least you start to get an idea of what it is. I'll, I'll forward a video too. Because I have literally multiple videos on deep conditioning. How to do it, what it is, benefits, all that stuff. Do you advise use of creatine? Uh, like the workout supplement creatine? Just to make sure I'm answering it properly. Calvin, I think that's, yeah, it says Calvin. Just let me know in the, in the comment if you're talking about the workout supplement creatine. Did you rinse out regular conditioner and keep in the deep conditioner after you showered? No, well, yes, okay, yes, okay. So yes, I, I shampoo, then I have the conditioner, then I rinse it out. And then I put the deep conditioner in. Oh, okay, no. Uh, then, then yeah. Then you add, you add in. Um, then you add in your deep conditioner. Then I have my shower cap, and I bring out my blow dryer, and then I rinse that out as well. So deep conditioner doesn't stay in your hair all week. Okay. Oh, the treatment for your hair, Calvin. You're talking about the creatine treatment for your hair. No, I do not. I do not. I do not. Guys, thanks for joining on the live for IG. If you're new, make sure to hit that follow button for hair content, especially. How do you do protective twist? I can do a video for you because it's literally you're taking two strands of your hair and you're twisting them together and be it's kind of hard to explain it. So I'll do a video. Actually, I think I have a video. I think I have a video. If I do, I'll send it, I'll forward it to you. What's your skincare routine? Let's keep this one because because this one and because we're gonna end in a, in like about a minute, but let's keep this one for hair. What I will do is I'll schedule uh I'll schedule a live for skincare like my whole skincare routine because a lot of people ask about it and stuff like that. There's nothing on my face right now like absolutely nothing because all that water was going on my face so there would make no sense of putting it on. But what we can do is we can kick it. All the people who like to talk about the skincare stuff and we'll talk about the skincare stuff because all these, everyone else here is pretty much here for uh, hair. So we will schedule one out. Don't worry, we'll do another one just like this but it'll be specifically for skincare. Yeah, thanks, thanks guys for the follows, man. I see that, thank you for the follows on Instagram. How long does it take? Did it take you to grow your hair over a year? So like a year and a year and like a year and a couple of months, like almost two, almost two years. But again, don't use me as a benchmark. I get trims. Um, I'm styling my hair to be curly all the time. Someone said thanks. No problem. I got you. Um, so don't use me as a benchmark. Because if you're if you actually want to see someone's hair who grows really long and is just taking care of it, just just like not that I'm not taking care of my hair, I actually take a really good care of my hair. But if someone who's doing protective styles and and you know things like that, because I'm not doing protective styles, then you know it wouldn't be. Don't use me as a benchmark for that. Uh, what's the best gel for four C hair? Well, I don't have four C hair. I can only make recommendations based off of the hair that I have. I have some friends who have 4C hair. I can find that out and literally do a video for you. I'll keep that in my mind. But the gel that I use, I like Aunt Jackie's. I like my custom gel from Pros. I'm gonna show IG as well. I like my custom gel from Pros. They literally make a custom gel for you. So like this is like, it wouldn't even be good for you. It's only good for me. So it's more expensive, but can't get any better than that one. I only use that one because the company sent it to me. If the company wasn't sending it to me, I don't know if I would be balling and just be like, yo, let me just get these gels. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but it, it's a really good one. K 
Can you please slow down the videos when you do the curls? Like the steps are good, but you, can you slow down when you move on to the next step? The only reason why, and I hear you on that, the only reason why those videos are so fast paced is because people have a short attention span. The moment if I start talking like how I'm talking on this live, taking my time, going through it and doing it, people will plug. People will be like, nope next <laughs> they was grow so it has to be fast-paced content the only time that you're gonna see me slow down is on my YouTube videos so YouTube is coming up like I'm gonna start scheduling it that like at least one or two video uh, one or two YouTube videos is gonna be uploaded a month so that's gonna be really dope but that's where it's gonna be slowed down it's I'm just kind of appeasing to what the people want based off the platform like these are fast-paced videos like you know, like I understand some people do a little bit slower. I just do what works for me and that's what works. It gets a more mass, more, more majority of people, you know? So what's, what is it? What, but what's within a date? Sorry. Put your question again. Best products for 2B hair. 2B? That's closer to my son's hair type. You're definitely, do you have high porosity? This is more important than just the uh then just the hair type what's the porosity all right i got you you said yeah please do the youtube please i got you i got you uh yeah the youtubes are gonna be a lot slower emmanuel what's going on i see you on ig your tips helped a lot that's what i'm here for i love when i hear that i love when people are like yo you've actually helped me a lot you help me love my hair like you're helping us so much i'm like all right that's what i'm here for again there is no ask i don't charge i don't do none of that there will i shouldn't say never but for the most part i don't want to add no like you know people have like patreon and all that kind of stuff i don't want that i want to keep it free for everybody and i want to help as many people as possible that is the goal so my only ask is always just smash the like button like the comments i mean like the videos comment follow share that's my only ask right and if you're not following make sure to hit that follow button <laughs> but yeah that's my only ask so yeah yeah would yeah. you say i have hair like like your son but a little bit more curly um what should i use to make it nice and shiny okay if you want shine you want shine and you have hair like my son you're not going to want to use heavy products like for his hair i don't use heavy products because it weighs it down and it just looks flat like you, what you want is you want something that's going to have a little bit more it's a little bit more lighter so i find like creams lighter creams they work a lot better for him not heavy products like gels and things like that if it's too heavy it's just gonna make your hair fall flat and it's not gonna look it'll look more greasy like a greasier look which you don't want right so definitely um definitely lighter products okay Uh, that's the exact hair I want. I'm going to watch your videos for sure. Hit the one that says the playlist. There's a playlist on, on TikTok. It says, um, hair. It literally says hair on it. Um, that's, I, I drop all my hair videos in there. And yeah, if you start watching them, watch them. And if you have questions, just DM me. Um, if you have IG, make sure to DM me, follow me and, and DM me on IG. Cause then I'll send you voice, voice notes and I'll send you videos. I'll be like, Hey, this is what I do. Um, black boy. Bro, I washed my hair and it it uh, shrink it shrinked and now I have to um and now I have a protective style. Will it grow back to the way it was before it shrinked? Absolutely. Black people <laughs> type four hair shrinkage. If you didn't see the video, in, I mean the live in the beginning, eh? My hair was <laughs> it was a lot and looked it looked like it was longer or bigger or taller, whatever the term is you want to use. But when you add when you add um what you call it the uh water when you add water to it or you put in a protective style it will shrink it'll shrink back but that it's just your hair shrinking it's still it's still long it's still healthy it, there's nothing wrong with that how do i deal with shrinkage if you want to deal with shrinkers you can do what's called the banded method where you take your hair you stretch it you add a band or a scrunchie to it while, while you sleep overnight because it will help the hair to be stretched and it will look kind of wonky in the morning. whoops it'll look wonky in the morning but you can reshape it with your hands so that's kind of the best way I can tell, can explain to deal with shrinkage. Other than that, you just start to learn to own it. <laughs> because I'm like, my hair is down to like my nose, but I'm like, it's up here. It's at my, like it's at my forehead. <laughs> so it just takes time with, with, if you want it to look like it has more hang, more drop. Or you can use your blow dryer. 
um, with a cool setting and with a nozzle and you can stretch your hair and just kind of give it a stretch in certain areas and it'll give it a little bit more volume, right? And more frizz. Trade off uh, definition for more, for more, uh, a little bit more frizz, you'll have more, you'll have way less, uh, way less, what's it called? Shrinkage. What product did you use? I used Twist, Gimme It All, the foreign one, Cold Wash Leave-In Styling Cream. Someone said, please do another live because because <laughs> I just uh, what I just came a few minutes ago. No worries. I got you. I got you. There will be more lives. This is not the only live. Actually, because you guys stuck around way to the end, you guys get to hear the announcement. But I'm going to be going live again October the 1st. I'm pretty like I'm pretty sure I'm setting it in stone. That's going to be October the 1st. I'm going live with one of my friends. He has 4C hair. So everybody that's like, oh, 4C, 4C, how can I do this for 4C? We're literally going to go live together. And I'm going to show you the process, what it looks like on my hair. Not this exact process. We're going to do something a little bit different. I can't tell you everything or else, you, can, you know, there's no hype. <laughs> but we're, I'm going to do a little bit of a different process. And he's going to be doing the exact same process that I'm doing um, to show you that, yes, it can be done on 4C hair. Um, versus like 4B, if that's what you want to put me at. I know I got like 4B mixed with 4C. Hey, E-Man, what's going on? You say hello. <laughs> what's going on? Any friends with 3B, 3C? I'm a lonely friend. I'm joking. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm a lonely guy. I don't have no friends. I'm joking. Uh, 3B, 3C, my son. My son has literally 3, 3, 3C. So if you want more 3C content, I will do that for you guys. Don't worry. Shrink is just tough, trust me. All right, guys, that is it for the live. Honestly, I appreciate y'all so much. <laughs> like, you guys don't understand. If you're new, again, make sure you hit that follow button for more curly hair content, more curly hair lives, and I'm definitely gonna do skincare lives as well because a lot of people wanna know about the skincare. So, um, but you gotta make sure that you hit that follow button so you don't miss it. Someone said, you are beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. But make sure you hit that follow button so you don't miss the lives, so you don't miss the content because the content is also going to be more curly hair, more skincare, all that kind of stuff. And obviously, I share other things too as well, like my fitness journey, my family, whatever, whatever, right? I share all kinds of content. But the main, main content that you'll always get out of me is hair. You will always see hair content out of me. How do I glow up? Can I DM you? I got you, Emmanuel. I got you at the glow up, bro. I got you. <laughs> Someone said, where are you from? I'm from Canada. Um, yeah, we need them skincare tips. I got you. I got you. The last couple of videos I did on the skincare tips, those ones were fired. Don't sleep. Go check out the last couple of ones there. And I even created a skincare guide on my Instagram page. So if you click it, it will have like all the skincare videos in there and there's more coming. So don't worry. I got you. I got you. Um, someone said I love the hair content. Yeah, uh, thanks. Thanks. I really appreciate that you love the content But yeah, that's it for today guys um, Like I said, if you're not following make sure you hit that follow button Oh, and one last thing make sure to hit the bell icon on TikTok. I don't know if they have it on Instagram But hit the bell icon on my page because if I just sporadically go live you will you'll get notified right away And then that way you don't miss it Avery <laughs> Amy, I haven't talked to you in a minute. I keep saying I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it, and I keep seeing names that I recognize, people I recognize. Amy, <laughs> thank you, thank you that the curls are popping. Um, but yeah, make sure, make sure to hit the bell notification so you get notified when I go live. All right, Elijah, thank you so much for being my moderator today. I appreciate you guys. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Ending it on the IG. <laughs> I keep saying I'm gonna end it. How tall are you? 5'10 and a half. <laughs> Basically, why 11? Give me the 11.